welcome to the channel my name is Dina in today's video I want to share with you how I'm growing Hoyas as a beginner I got these plants for their foliage most of them are tiny uh, from single cutting so it will take a lot of time and patience to get them to mature and flower but I'm learning a lot about these plants and I'm also taking notes from experienced growers to help me um, get these plants to thrive here in my home. Hoyas belong to the family Apocinaceae. There are about 200 to 300 species and cultivars of Hoyas, mostly vining plants that grow on the sides of trees in their natural environment. They are native to countries like the Philippines, Australia, Polynesia, New Guinea, and other parts of Asia. At the moment, I have six different Hoyas. First is this cutting here. A workmate gave it to me a year ago. She said she got it from Facebook Marketplace and it wasn't labeled, so I call it UHC, Unidentified Hoya Cutting. But from the shape of the leaves, I'm guessing it's a carnosa. Um, I waited months for the stem to grow longer and for it to grow more leaves and when it did, I cut it off and I planted it next to the other cutting. Um, at the moment, it's been getting a lot of consistent light from the grow lights but uh, last year in the warmer months, it was outdoors. Um, I gave it a weak concentration of liquid fertilizer in the warmer months. Um, I water this plant when the soil feels dry and I also let the soil dry out in between waterings. Now I plan to repot this into a terracotta pot because I love terracotta and also because the soil is starting to look a bit compact and I'm hoping that that will encourage uh, more growth uh, this spring. So that's the Hoya maybe Carnosa. Next is this Hoya cutting. I got this as a freebie when I ordered two Hoyas uh, online and it wasn't labeled. So I also call this the unidentified Hoya cutting too. But from the shape of the leaves, again, I'm guessing it's a Hoya obovata. If it is, I have read that it's a nice beginner Hoya. Um, I received this plant bare root, so I planted it in a well-draining soil. Uh, at the moment, it's getting a lot of bright, uh, consistent light from the grow lights. Um, I have read that uh, Hoyas with thicker leaves are um, drought tolerant. So I will water this plant when the soil feels dry and I will let the soil dry out in between waterings. And I will start fertilizing this at the start of spring with a weak concentration of liquid fertilizer. This plant, um, like most Hoyas, prefer a lot of bright indirect light. Um, even gentle direct light was recommended. And that's my Hoya obovata maybe. Third is the Hoya Matilda Splash. It is a cross between Hoya Carnosa and Hoya Serpents. It looks like a mini version of the other Hoya, uh, the obovata. This Matilda has leaves uh, that are thick and about two centimeters. So if you're looking um, for a more compact Hoya, then the Matilda is a good choice. Uh, because the leaves are thick and they look like succulents, uh, the plant is more drought tolerant as well. So again, I will water this plant thoroughly and let it dry out between waterings. This Hoya also prefers a well-draining soil and I'm happy to keep it in its current pot for now. Um, this uh, plant again needs a good amount of bright indirect light and the plan is to move this plant outdoors um, in the warmer months so that it gets a lot of bright indirect light and maybe uh, some gentle direct light as well in the early morning or late afternoon. Next is the Hoya uh, Carnosa Compacta or the Indian Rope Hoya. It's still in its original tiny pot and the potting medium is well draining but I'm thinking of uh, repotting this into a terracotta pot in spring. I got it from a local shop three months ago. Uh, I have not seen any growth but the leaves are pretty much the same. No browning or yellowing so I'm hoping to see uh, new growth now that it's coming to spring. 
Uh, with the Indian rope, I watered this when the soil feels dry and then the, I let the soil dry out in between waterings. It is getting ambient humidity and consistent light from the grow lights this winter. And I will start fertilizing this at the start of spring as it gets warmer. Next is this Hoya Australis. I'm not really sure which variety I have but I have been growing this plant for a year now so this is my oldest Hoya. Um, the leaves on this plant uh, are thinner compared to the other Hoyas and it's only this year that it started to push out these long stems. I'm still waiting for the leaves to come out at the tip of this stem here. Now the plan this year is to move it outdoors in the middle of spring so that it gets a lot of bright indirect light, just ambient humidity and, um, and fertilize it with a weak concentration of liquid fertilizer uh, when the weather is warmer and also repot it into a terracotta pot at some point this year. The last is the Hoya Carii. I got this from an online seller interstate together with the Matilda. And the leaves on this plant are huge. As same as the other Hoyas, this plant uh, needs a well-draining soil, a lot of bright indirect light, and a low to moderate amount of water. I've read that this plant will really flourish with a higher humidity. And this long stem here, that looked really odd in there is where the new leaves and flowers eventually grow from. I have read that Hoyas don't usually bloom until they are about two to three years old and there's a lot of tips and tricks out there to learn uh, to get them to bloom but for these plants here I think that's far off in the future and I will cross that bridge when I get there. Finally there are three more Hoyas on my wish list and that's the Hoya Crimson Queen, the Crimson Princess and the Australis Lisa. Um, all of them are variegated and they will bring more color to my collection. I'm looking for more established plants but there's not a lot online uh, so I guess I will just have to keep looking. Uh, but for now I think there's enough plants uh, here to grow. There's um, enough to learn about these plants as well. That's all for now. Thanks again for watching. Please remember to subscribe uh, if you haven't yet. Leave a like, comment, um, hit the bell and I'll see you again in my next video.